Welcome back to All Your Tech. As always, I'm Brian Lovett. This is my sidekick. Today we're going to show you how to make your prints go from this to this. Let's get into it. Yesterday we started 3D printing the Mark 85 Iron Man suit for Roman over here, and we noticed a couple things. One, well, tell us about this print and how it came out. Well, we printed it on the bottom, so when we were trying to get the supports off, it was really hard. We couldn't even get them all off. Yeah, and you can see the support material that's left on the bottom there. There's a ton. It wasted a bunch of print material, and it just doesn't look good. The top, if you look at it, looks like a topographical map. You can see how the layer lines are just really pronounced. And that's because of how an FDM printer works. It works by taking thermoplastic and layering it up one layer at a time. So it makes sense if you print this flat, you're going to use a ton of material for the supports, and then you're going to get this weird shape on the top. With this one, on the other hand, we aligned it with the way that the 3D printer actually works. And so with it oriented this way, you can see that the surface and the back just look so much better. We use a lot less material. It took less time to print, and it's just an overall better quality part that's going to take us a lot less time to sand and finish. And I'm sure you want to save a lot of time sanding, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Roman's going to show us a couple of settings and slicer that should help out and hopefully get you these really high quality prints. All right, so I'm gonna have Roman show us the different settings we can use in Slicer to get this going. Now, when we started, we had this on the build plate just laying on its side. That seemed to make the most sense to print it. But when we go ahead and slice it. Two hours later. All right, we can see it uses a tremendous amount of support material to do this. It uses 19.15 meters of filament, about 57 grams it's gonna take six hours and 38 minutes to print. Now, Roman, if you wanna show them this other trick that we have. All right, so there's place on face, right? And what does that allow you to do? Uh, you can turn it on any side to print. Oh, cool. So now, if we orient this vertically, right? Now it's aligned with how the printer actually prints the layer lines vertically. And then if we slice this, two hours later, we can see that this actually uses significantly less material. So 36 grams instead of 57, and it'll take five hours, 23 minutes instead of was 638, I think before. Yeah. So significantly less time to print and it's less intuitive, but it just works. All right. So you had a tip about another setting to change when you're doing this, right? Right. So you, it says none on supports. You want to change that on for build plate only. So otherwise it looks like this. Got it. So that's going to get the supports in the right place. Now, one last thing I want to touch on. We actually did make a couple of changes in the supports just to get them easier to take off. So the top contact Z distance, we put it 0.25 instead of the default of 0.2. We changed the pattern spacing to three millimeters. We did use the top interface layers. The default is two, and so we kept that. Interface spacing is 0.2 millimeters. And then this last piece, the XY separation, this actually, this is the separation between kind of the last perimeter on the print and the interface of the supports. And so we changed this to 75%. It's typically a little bit lower than this by default. As always, let us know what you think in the comments down below if this was helpful. Give us a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. See y'all.